Hey guys, Luna here, back with another PUBG Xbox One video, and today we had the official announcement for the upcoming 1.0 version of the game, along with the weekly community post to go over. And while the two posts are mostly just recapping info, so I'm going to skip 99% of it, there are a few bits to mention, and I feel like it's quite a negative video today, but hopefully not too much. If the video is helpful though, smash the like button, it is very helpful. Before we start, I have used up most of my own clips, so I know a lot of you guys want me to start showing your clips in the game again, and I will start adding them to videos starting today. I get messages all the time about when I'm switching back to user clips, and it's right now. So leave your gamer tag in the description, and if you have Xbox clips, I will use them. Make sure you have the right spelling though for your gamer tag. 1.0 is 10 days away, and we have got some more info on the release of that from the devs. And to be honest, it's a little disappointing given how much hype there is about 1.0. And originally, we had low of stuff coming for the release day from Gamescom and I don't know about you but it sounded like everything was going to release on September 4th but every time we get more info it gets less and less stuff releasing on the big 1.0 day. Right now Sandhawk and Achievements are really all that is releasing in 10 days time. Custom Games release is still not confirmed. All we know is it's sometime after launch. The event pass has no clear release date, and now War Mode is not going to be available at 1.0 either, but will actually be playable sometime mid-September. So while I don't mind them releasing stuff over a period, I wish instead of hyping up 4th of September, they were just straight with us from the start and tell us the actual release date for things. But it's not all bad news. While the next official update for the game will be 1.0, and there will be a couple of game fixes in that update as well for things like black screen and problems having two controllers plugged in, which is causing some people issues, we will actually see something before then, and that is the return of the PTS, and we will get to test out a new in-game currency. The new system, which will be unique to console, will change how we buy cosmetic items in-game, and so also expect changes to the crate system. I don't know what they have planned, but so long as they completely abandon the system of getting duplicates, I guess we will all be happy. So that is coming to PTS before 1.0 sometime in the next 10 days, and then once it's all done and tested and sent to live servers, we should get the introduction of weapon skins to the game. The devs are waiting to add the new crate and currency system before adding in skins, although I can't say for sure we won't actually see them during PTS, but if we don't, we will see them sometime after. They may want to test them on the PTS separately. One final thing arriving 1.0 is going to be map selection, but it's going to follow the system of PC and have either battle royale or mini battle royale options. So you can either search for Sandhawk, which is mini, or you can search for regular, which is Erangel and Miramar. You won't be able to search Miramar and Erangel separately, which is really the whole reason we want map selection in the first place. So I guess some of us will be disappointed with that option. But that's pretty much all the info from the two announcements from today. We found out War Mode won't be releasing at 1.0, but it'll be some point in mid-September, so that's going to be a few weeks after. But the PTS will be returning very soon, and we may very well see weapon skins before we actually see War Mode. Before I finish, I want to quickly mention PS4, as some of you may have seen during the Small Road to 1.0 documentary on Xbox. At around the 54 second mark, you can see the devs sitting next to a PS4 Pro, getting everyone excited about the release of the game onto PS4. I've had lots of comments about it, but for now, that is literally all the info we have. But as I mentioned in a previous video, I think PS4 was always likely to be arriving for the Christmas period this year, so it's no real surprise. Guys, let me know in the comments what you think of all the 1.0 stuff being spread out over the month. I know this video made it sound like I was complaining about it, but in fact, I'm really on the fence. While I wish there were more straight on telling us the actual release times for things, I also am not too bothered, especially if there's going to be issues and bugs that need fixed. That way they can focus on one thing at a time. And I guess there definitely will be problems with Sandhawk as it's a whole map and it's not going to PTS. Daisy had so many comments asking when I'm covering the game, which releases next week. And of course, I will be covering it a little bit on release day. And as always, I will continue to cover it based on who actually watches it. But it's going to be tough when there's so many big games coming out over the next few months. Don't forget to subscribe with notifications on. And guys, I will catch you all in the next one. Peace out.